Hey guys, this is uh, Nestor, the limousine guy. Um, based out of Southwest Florida. And today I just want to go over, um, you know, I've been getting a lot of messages about people uh, messaging me about the steps that you need to take to uh, um, start a, a transportation business, whether it be a limo business, um, airport service, you know, with a sedan or an SUV. So there's different there's different types of um, things that uh, you need to to do in order to uh, you know get your business going, um, guys. If you're just uh, tuning in or following me or whatever, this is my like third video I've ever done, so I'm not an expert at this, and uh, I keep looking down here when my camera is right there. So please. Uh, have a little patience with me. Uh, I just wanted to go over some um, some steps of starting a limo business, uh, transportation service. So, without further ado, let's just get into it uh, because I have uh, a friend of mine that wants to know. Um, what you want to do is you want to pick a name, of course. So, you want to choose a name uh, like mine. Mine is First Class Limousine Service LLC, which is the number one ST class limousine service LLC and then what you have to do if you're in Florida you go to sunbiz.org and you put in um, well first of all you need to go to um, like GoDaddy and check for a domain name see if it's available um, and then also um, once you do that then you go to uh, sunbiz.org and that's sunbiz, S-U-N-B-I-Z dot org. <coughs> Excuse me. And you um, put in your information. And you see if there's, let's say that you want to call yourself uh, Ralph's um, Transportation Service. Or Ralph's Airport Service. So you put in Ralph's Airport Service. And as long as that... As long as there's no name in your city of Rouse, Rouse Transportation Service, you're good to go. Like, there's other first-class limousines. I mean, Tampa, St. Pete, uh, Orlando, Ocala, other places. But and but they don't have the LLC. Um, some of them are just first-class limo. Some are just um, FIRST, Class Limousine Service, which is all right. And what's nice about with that number one, um, sorry, that's my TV. So I'm gonna go hold on here. Roku. I apologize, guys. Give me one second here. Anyway, don't worry about that. Not right now. Okay, anyway, so let's get back to it. So, choosing a name and going on, uh, finding a domain. Um, also, going on your uh, through your state, depending on what state you're in. As far as Florida, you've got sunbiz.org. So, you know, you want to go on there and, and check... Excuse me, and make sure that you know um, that your name's not on there, and then you can keep going those steps. Um, like I said, you so you got to check that name to register. Uh, get with your local um, your local city for the tax information because you have you don't. I mean, depending on on where you are, and you want to do the airport services. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Orlando, Tampa, uh, um, Orlando, you know, just whatever. Just keep on going. Um, some of those places, you've got to be stickered. Um, if you don't have a sticker, um, 
you know, they'll hammer you. They'll give you a fine. Like here where I'm located, a um, bunch of the big transportation companies, there's two different transportation companies that got in this huge, uh, they got together and then wanted to monopolize with the little companies like myself. Be like, all right, you guys have to pay. Um, you have to go to the city and take care of your stickers and this and that and all that, all that good stuff. And then you have to go to the airport and then you have to fill out their application and pay them $100 for the application. And then I think it's uh, $10 per vehicle. Um, also with the city, when you go to the city, depending on where you're at, um, some like state of Florida requires hack licenses. That's only if you're going to like Port Everglades, uh, Port of Miami, Port Canaveral, Port of Tampa. They require a hack license because they will bust your chops. Um, so it doesn't matter whether you're doing a uh, sedan or, or SUV or a limo, just depends on what you want to do. And that's the other thing too, is like choosing what you, um, because if you have like a midsize SUV, a lot of people want a larger SUV, like your Cadillac Escalades, uh, your Ford Expeditions, uh, like myself, I have, um, a two stretch limousines and I have a sedan, it's a Lincoln Town Car beautiful cars and uh, they work they, they get the job done so um, that's that's the thing there um, so getting your tax documents going um, so once you've picked your name and you've gotten all that stuff you go through um, irs.gov to get your uh, EIN number um, because you're gonna have to, you're gonna need an EIN number to open up a bank account because they won't do it under your social. So you have to have an EIN number, Edward Indigo November, EIN number, to open up a bank account. And then also later on down the line, if you want to get credit cards and that kind of thing, you know, they, they ask you for that. Um, so picking your name and you know going to your local municipality and getting all that stuff, and you can you can search all that stuff on on the internet. Uh, starting a transportation business, what do I need? But here I'm giving you a bunch of uh, little things that you're going to need. So again, it's like picking, um, you know, what you want to do as far as the transportation. You know, as far as it, it could be, you know, you could call yourself Ralph's Limo Service and still have an SUV. You know what I mean? Uh, or Ralph's Transportation. Um, you know, someone says, hey, you know, they call you up or they see your placard or your, your magnet strip a magnet thing on your car or whatever and they say hey well, what kind of vehicles do you have it's better to if you're friends with somebody in that local town and let's say that you have three SUVs you've got three Cadillac Escalades black okay cool now you're in that that top um, percentage of hey, hey man I'm gonna need you like me as a limo guy I'm gonna need you eventually and it's vice versa as well and there's a lot of other companies that we all work together. Uh, I don't have any party buses. They do. So, um, you know, um, we work together. So when, when I need a bus, I call my boys up and I say, hey, listen, I got a bus run for you. It's booked out at this much for five hours. Um, you know, plus, because it's normally, and this is how you rate your, um, so you do an hourly plus you do your gratuity which is 20%. And then a lot of companies here, because you know you guys have seen the gas, it's incredible. So we charge 8% fuel. But normally I try to, um, um, I tried to add it, all that into the price. So normally, you know, we're, 10 years ago when I was in business, I was booking my car, my, lim my limo, my stretch limo, God, I can't talk. My stretch limo out at about 55 to $65 an hour. Nowadays, I charge during the week, if it's Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, um, I'm doing like 75 Thursday through Sunday. I'm doing anywhere from 85 to $100 an hour. Hey man, you know, you got to include your fuel, you got to include your wear and tear, you got to include all that stuff that's in your vehicle. And a lot of people don't, don't understand that. And when people start to realize that, listen, you know, when you're... If you run a stretch limousine, let's say eight people, and you want to go out for five hours, 
and um, at let's say $95 an hour. That's about $500 plus your grat. You're looking at uh, $120, I think. Somewhere around there. So let's say it costs you $700. Bucks. Eight people. Divide it. Okay, so you went to dinner, you went and had drinks, but guess what? Everybody's getting home. <sighs> Sorry. Um, everybody's getting home safe. A lot of people are like, oh man, what's up with the price? You can't give me a better deal? Well, next time I go to the gas station, I'm gonna ask them, can you give me a better deal? When I go to buy tires, I'm gonna be like, hey, can you give me a better deal? So a lot of people get mad about that, you know what I mean? But hey, they need to understand you have a business to run. Number one, you're in the business to make money and you're in the business to um, make money to be able to um, move up. Let's say you've got one SUV, you've got a stretch limo like myself. I have two stretches and one town car and I do fairly well. This weekend has been slow. Last weekend was crazy. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I was busy. And then, I, of course, my airport runs. My sedan's doing airport runs. And that's what, you know, and depending on where you're going. And I try to, I, I try not to do the local runs because it doesn't pay nothing. You know what I mean? It's, it's more, um, it's not cost effective, trust me, um, to where you, you know, like, Let's say that you live in, I'm not going to say the town I live in, but Southwest Florida. But let's say that you live in Hialeah and you want to go to Miami Airport and you want a sedan. I normally check Uber and Lyft. I want to see what they're charging. I check to see what they're charging for prices. And, um, um, you know, and that's what I usually, I base it up a little bit more than that. So let's say that Uber charges 60 bucks. I normally do 75 to, to 100. But you got to make, you got to know your worth. You have to know your worth because people will try to lowball you all day long. They can't do that with Uber or Lyft. And then they try to get away with, you know, the transportation, the limousine businesses and stuff like that. But people just need to understand that, uh, you know, we're in the business to make money and also to provide a service to uh, good clientele and, and long-term long clientele. Long-term clienteles. So, and then once you have decided on the vehicle, now you, you start taking your steps. You've got, you know, finding out about your commercial insurance order your business cards, order yourself a ma a double, two magnets for each side of the vehicle, or if you want to get some lettering done, some vinyl stickering done on your window or your, you know, on your car or your window, whatever, whatever you want to get done, just so that way people know, hey man, that, that car, that vehicle there does airport runs. And then you can always get with, you can always call me or message me and pick my brain and say, hey man, what do you charge to go from such and such, or what would you charge to go, let's say from, um, uh, let's say Bradington to uh, Tampa International. Bradington to Tampa International, I would probably do depending on what vehicle. So a sedan, I would probably charge, oh, Bradington to Tampa. I'd probably do about 150 bucks in a sedan. You gotta make, you gotta know your worth. SUV, I would do about 175. A limo, I think I'd probably do about 250. So it just depends. And you pretty much, like I said, go on Uber. And um, or I, I, I like using Uber instead of Lyft. Uber is more expensive. So I, and I normally go by Uber Black. Like if say somebody wanted to go from Naples, Florida, to um, Miami International. Um, I think Uber charges, yeah, let's go, let's check this out real quick, and I can show you guys, and normally I just, I use the, uh, Uber, and I'll just go to the ride, share, I go to ride, 
And let's put in let's put in um, let's put Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota, Florida. Two. Let's just say Tampa International. Tampa International. Tampa International. Oh, no, that's it wasn't it. I don't know what the heck that was. Blue side. Let's go back here. Ride. So Sarasota to Tampa International Airport. Let's say Delta Airlines. Main terminal. Uber sells like 88 bucks. I would charge $100 for a sedan. I mean, because, granted, Uber XL, it's an affordable ride for groups up to five people. So it could be an SUV, um, small SUV, mid-size SUV, depends. But uh, let's, let's do something different here. Let's go, um, let's say Sarasota to Miami International Airport. International Airport. Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, geez, that's cheap. It's probably because it's ten o'clock at night. Um, but Uber XL charges to go from Sarasota to Miami International. Two sixty-eight, as you can see right there 268 so literally I would charge 300 300 to go from Sarasota to because you figure you got about $75 in fuel so you make 225 bucks it'd be nice to get a ride back from from Miami to let's say if you are out based out of uh, Sarasota then it, it kind of you know kind of works out nice because then you got you know 300 one way, 300 back, you got 600 bucks, deduct your gas. Um, and then in the stretch limo for me to go from, let's say, Sarasota to Miami International, it's about 550, 550 bucks. People don't understand. You'd get a limo bus, you're looking at about a thousand bucks one way. Yeah, people just don't understand. So you got to know your worth. If you, you know, you, you let people step all over you and, um, you know, well, hey, how about this price? This is my price. Listen, you don't want to go and give your... That is so annoying when it does that. You got to know your worth. Plain and simple. Because if you, um, you, you got to make up for your fuel, you've got to make up for your fuel. You have to. There's no way around it. Uh, with, with, fuel so, uh, with fuel being so expensive, you know, I mean, it's, you know, three three, $3.30 a gallon. Yeah, man. And in, in other states, it could be more. Uh, I know a friend of mine told me that she, in California, she was paying like $5 for unleaded. Full. That's why you live in California. I live here in Florida. Anyway, but, um, you know, get all that stuff going on. Get your steps going in order. That way people see um, that you, you've got to have your commercial insurance. You don't want to use, don't, and I, this is, and I don't know how to emphasize this, but I have a friend of mine that has a stretch limo. And he has regular, I think he has Geico or State Farm or one of those. Here's the problem with that. Here's the problem with that. You take a party out. Let's say you take a party of six people out. Some guy's drunk. Bam, right in the middle of that vehicle. Kills two people. The other four live. And you have basic... Not liability insurance, just basic insurance. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, basic insurance through GEICO they're going to come after you. That's why my LLC, they're not coming after me. 
the, you know, so it's, that's why I'm covered. And I have commercial insurance. There's plenty of companies out there. But let me tell you, I have, I had, when I first started, I had this, com this company. Um, it was uh, $3,400 for the year. Um, it was like nine, almost $1,000 down and $423 a month. Some crazy thing like that. Now, the company that I have, which is RRL, RRL Insurance Group, um, and they're based out of uh, West Palm, not West Palm, Coco, Jupiter, somewhere in that area. They're on the east coast of Florida. Um, I think I'm paying for the sedan and the limo. Commercial insurance now. I have a $300,000 liability. I have a $100,000 comp collision. A hundred thousand for comp, a hundred thousand for collision. I have almost a million dollars in coverage for commercial insurance for my sedan and my issue and my limo. So if somebody gets an accident, something happens. I'm, um, you know, with my limo, with his limo, they find out that okay. Let's say Geico finds out that he's got a limo that he had insured. People got in an accident. Somebody died. He screwed. I, someone, something happens with my limo and somebody gets, you know, there's an accident or something. My people are covered. My people are covered. Because as long as they're renting the limousine, so, quote, quote, comma, comma, uh, whatever. Um, I forget those semicolons, whatever you want to call those. Anyway, so in that clause, so if anybody gets hurt in there, in the limo, well, it's out for a ride. And they're going to say, hey, listen, did you have, um, you know, because I do my contracts like this. Um, so I just want to cover up stuff. So my contracts will have like stuff like it's a trip ticket, actually. And um, so, you know what I mean? But that's my contract. And uh, it's an invoice due bond. I'm, I'm actually going to redo this. Because um, here's the other thing: when somebody books with you, when someone books a ride with you, get their credit, get all their information, their name, their address, the date of service, the time that they're going to be picked up, all that good stuff. What airline they're going to, or maybe they're not even going to an airline. Maybe you got some people you're taking out for, let's say, if you got an SUV. And they want to go out for five hours. And they don't want to be high class. They just want to be in a casual vehicle. You charge them $75, $80 an hour. Plus your 20%. So um, get a credit card. Get a deposit. Because I made the mistake booking my vehicle for New Year's. Nine and a half, almost ten hours for this New Year's. 2022. Friend of mine. And of course... Did what I did, but I didn't get her credit card information, and I didn't get a deposit. So from now on, I'm going to start doing the credit card information. When someone books, I'm going to get their email address, everything. So I'm going to fill out the contract. I'm going to email them the contract in the contract that's going to state, um, depending on how many hours it is, we're doing 10%. So let's say that we're going out at $700. So 10% of that, or not 10%, I'm actually going to do a um, $150 deposit. So $150 deposit. If you cancel on me, that deposit's mine. You can put use it to it. You can use it towards a later date. But because people just like to cancel on you last minute, it just sucks when people do that. So, all right. Um, we talked about the business cards. We talked about the EIN. Um, whether you're going to be doing airport service. Or whatever if you have it just depends on the vehicle I have a friend of mine in Miami who has um, a um, Cadillac Escalade and he wants to do airport runs and I told him I said listen if I ever have somebody in Miami that needs to come up this way and they need to be picked up I'm gonna I'm gonna you know it's it's not gonna be cheap for them you know cuz let's say um, I'm in the Port Charlotte area so let's say Miami to Port Charlotte in the SUV, I'd probably charge them about three and a quarter, maybe almost 350. Yeah, 350. 
So um, I would actually just uh, 350. I would charge her card after the end of the run, and then whether my buddy, because my buddy's in business as well, and he uses business Cash App, which Cash App has Cash App Venmo. So I accept all major credit cards plus cash. Cash is king. Uh, Venmo and Cash App. If anybody wants to pay me that way, I had given that opportunity, which is nice because before when I was in business, it was just credit. Hold that thought. I gotta pause that. That's quite annoying. don't know your worth people will step all over you excuse me guys I'm, i just took my medication and i'm like dehydrated water's so good mm, damn it's frozen um all right so ein you know getting all that stuff from your local your tax documents, sunbiz.org, depending, or wherever, I don't know, depending on what state you're in, how, so I would Google um, registering business name, something like that. And then also for your domain, you can go to GoDaddy. Um, like I have, one, two, I have like seven seven different names that I have, like firstclasslimousine.com, firstclasslimo.com, firstclasstransportation.com, transportation, or Southwest Florida transportation.com, Southwest Florida limousines.com. So I have a bunch of them, and a lot of them, and even if it's um, .net or CO or whatever, info, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Because um, when someone, when you start the algorithm of of google when people start looking for limousines and your name gets searched or you start searching your name you're gonna you know what i mean like me with facebook um i'm i'm like facebook you put in in the search bar let's put in limousine i'm so there's Limotions, Liberty, Limotions, Limo, Florida, then me. So, you know what I mean? And that's mine. That's my town car. And, um, you know, I come up quickly. So, but, um, you know, Facebook is another one. If you know a lot of people, and word of mouth is the best because right now I'm in the process of trying to get a website done, but um, um, Instagram and believe it or not, TikTok and um, Facebook, those platforms. As long as you get your name out there, people start seeing your name out there. And let's say that a lot of these people in TikTok or, you know, all over the state of Florida. But, I mean, I'm not going to go to Stewart, Florida, or go to Ocala. I mean, if somebody wants me to go to Ocala and they're willing to pay for the transportation, which from here, from where I'm at to Ocala, I would charge them 250 That's just, just for the transportation for me to go and come back. That's not including the hourly once I get there. So let's say that they want a limo for 7 o'clock in, in, in the p.m., so they got two fifty for me to go up there, just kind of like a service fee. Two fifty for me to go up, and um, when there's other limousine companies in Tampa that are close, but you want me because you know me, that's going to cost you two hundred fifty dollars for me to ride up there because I got a lot of fuel plus the hourly. So we're looking at like ninety dollars an hour. So I mean, you know, you go out for six seven hours, and you got to make it worth my time because I'm not going up there for three hours. I'm not wasting my time for that. Got to be seven hours, 90 bucks an hour, you know. Uh, we're looking 
at 630 plus grat, you know, we're looking at almost 800 bucks plus the 250, 1000 bucks. Yeah. I'll go up there for that. Why not? So yeah, getting that all done. Uh, so once you have your EIN number done, um, get all that stuff taken care of, your magnets, all that stuff in, in, in order. Now you go open your bank account. Go get your bank account because you're going to need a way to process credit cards. And I've been using Square. Um, Square charges me, it's like 2.7%, and it's good to have the reader because if you do manual enter, manual enter, so let's say that you don't have the reader, which like my iPhone 12 or my iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I have the like the connector that goes right in, and then I just go to my app, and I hit Square, and um, as you can see, and I just enter the amount, and having the card reader, just swipe the card. If it's approved, it'll say approved. If it's declined, it'll say declined. And so you put in, you know, you go to the app, you swipe, or you put your amount in. So let's say the total night is 760 bucks. So, you know, you swipe their card. If you got a good connection, it'll say approved. And then um, you have them sign and you're done. And then within three days, if you don't need the money right away, that money will go right into your account within three days, three business days. Um, but they take, you know, that 2.5 or 2.7%. So, um, yeah. And then, um, you open your bank account, you know, you, you have your platforms and, you know, get all that stuff. I made myself a little list of things that I needed so I wouldn't forget. But, uh, you know, I, I was in the limo business for a long time in the past. You know, I take well very well care of my vehicles um you know like i just did a huge um you can go on and make these things for yourself um i did this on um i did this on uh an app for new year's it's first class limousine phone number and then of course also i've i've done um like the special I have going right now, which is, um, here's another one I did, which is kind of cool. Just says first class limousine, service at its finest, and the phone number at the bottom. There we go. Anyway, and it's by the, by the river, by the ocean, actually. So you just actually do stuff like that, put it on your, you know, make yourself a Facebook business page and, you know, and you can do also, um, let's say that you want to promote it, your business, publish it, make yourself a little thing like that. And then you put, uh, you know, nice picture of your SUV or your town car, or whatever you've got, Chrysler 300, whatever. And um, make sure that it's clean. Make sure that it looks good. Make sure you, you know, open up a door, you know, and, and then also have, if you have a red carpet, because people love a red carpet, even if it's a sedan, they don't care. Um, and get yourself a red carpet. You can find them for 30 bucks on eBay. And because uh, a lot of people, when you do airports, let's say that you, your Escalade or your uh, Ford Expedition, that uh, you get somebody that, a uh, bigwig that's coming in and is coming in on a private airport, and they're asking for just, you know, for a red carpet for their daughter or their wife or their grandmother, whatever, whatever. So you lay out the red carpet and make them feel special. They'll remember that. And then, you know, hey, hey, remember that one company, Ralph's Transportation? Let's use them again. And that's where you want to go. And that's what you want to do is you want to provide that service. Like with me, myself, like I was getting to uh, for New Year's. Uh, I'm doing um, $150 an hour, five hour minimum. Plus 20% gratuity, plus the 8% fuel. Got to do it. And then I'm including in there, which I give them ice, of course. So I have two wells, one in the front, one in the, in the back on the bar. Um, and I stock four waters here and four waters here. And I'll have a bottle of um, champagne and a bottle of champagne. 
will be champagne glasses, flutes, and rock glasses if they want to bring their own drinks, which a lot of people do because they're going bar hopping or they're going to people's houses or whatever. So, man, when you get in the business, it helps a lot knowing what you want to do and how you want to do it. You can always Google transportation business. Sorry, I'm dehydrated. I'm talking. Like I said, this is my first time doing this um, YouTube thing. And, like, I don't even know how to stop it to where and edit it and that kind of thing. But I love water. Anyway. So, my name is Nestor the Limo Guy. It's actually Nestor. I just call myself Nestor the Limo Guy for YouTube. But I want to be able to help other people in the transportation world. Um, you know, I, 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 I don't like Uber and Lyft guys because they take a lot of business from the limo guys and transportation guys. Um, and another thing with those Uber guys is uh, they don't know how to drive. Um, speeding, reckless. Uh, yeah, I understand there's a lot of idiots out there that... Um, that um, treat Uber and Lyft drivers horribly. And um, and when you get somebody that rents a limo and they think they own you because they rented the limo. But they don't understand that even though you rented the limo, I still have on the contract and for any reason that I see fit to cancel the ride, I will sure do it and I'm going to keep your money. So, um, if you need any help with anything and you're trying to, trying to start a, a transportation lim uh, business, limousine or whatever, airport service, or if you want to just do, you can do night on the town, two people, three people, uh, airport service, you just want to do airports, fine, just do airport runs, but you got to know your worth because you don't want to be doing airport runs for $30, $40, $50 because it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Because um, at the end of the day, fuel is not cheap. You know, if fuel was like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five a gallon, and you know, it'd be okay. But you know, you just can't. You gotta know your worth. You gotta know when to say, "Hey, listen, this is my price, and this is what I'm sticking to." And if they don't like it.